Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session onwards, we are going to start our journey to learn, design and implement SharePoint client-side web part application using Graph API and SPFX. So what we are going to learn, let's look into that. So guys, in this journey, we are going to start our learning with understanding of Graph API, what actually the Graph API, how to use it. But before learning about how to use it, we have to understand why to use it. And what is the benefit of using Graph API and how it is different from the REST API. Once we understand the concept, then we will start our learning assignment 16, where we will learn about how to use Graph Explorer to design our Graph API query. Because whenever we start development with Graph API, it is always better to design your Graph query prior to start your work so that we can validate our Graph query is returning the valid data or not with the help of the query which we are going to use within our program so we will design it prior once we done with the learning assignment 16 then we will proceed with the learning assignment 17 where we will use the sp editor to write service logic using graph api so whatever the logic which we want to implement within our service layer that we can design it prior or I can say that we can implement prior inside the SPE editor so that we can test the output the code which we are going to use that is correctly returning the expected output. Once we are done with the learning assignment 17 then we will proceed to the learning assignment 18 where we will use the code whatever the code which we have written that we will use inside our service layer. So there are certain prerequisite step that we need to use it and with the help of those prerequisite we are able to use graph apis within our spfx program and that is what we are going to do in the learning assignment 18 where we will implement the service layer using graph api and that service layer holds the logic to grab the data from the SharePoint or any of the resources which exist inside the M365 ecosystem. Once we are done with that then we will proceed to the learning assignment 19 and where we will integrate the graph API with the user interface which we have already designed in our earlier learning assignment. And after completing all these exercises or say all these learning assignments then you are in a better position to use the graph API in the SPFX project. So on this note, I am stopping over here. From the next session onwards, we are going to start our learning journey for graph API and SPFX. So till then, bye-bye, take care.